In this video, we're going to show how 3D clip art designs can be added or incorporated with VCarve Pro designs. For example, here we have a lily that's come from the Vector Art 3D collection. It's been calculated, or the toolpaths for the lily have been calculated using the free 3D Vector Art machinist software, and then we're going to import them into VCarve Pro. So if we start by closing this for a moment, we create a new file, say we wish to have a panel, a door panel that's 22 inches wide, 28 inches high, want the origin to be in the bottom left hand corner, say we're going to use a piece of material that's 1 inch thick, click OK, so that represents our, our raw material, let's draw a rectangle to represent panel that we're going to cut out of the material, we'll make that an exact size of 20 inches by 26 inches high. Apply, close, let's just centre that in the middle of our sheet. Okay, next we're going to import the lily into the centre of our design. So we say import, here we have the V3M file which has come from the Vector Art 3D Machinist software. Open the file. You'll see that the file comes in it at, with the origin that it was calculated at. So this design had the X0, Y0 in the middle. If I click a second time, I can pick and drag the object to any position I wish. Let's say we want that to be in the center, so I can use the centering material. If we look in the three dimensional view, See now we have the, the toolpaths drawn. They've been moved from the bottom left hand corner to the center of our design. If we open the toolpaths tab, you'll see that we have two toolpaths here. We have the roofing toolpath, denoted with the letter R. We preview that. Animate the tool. See that this is the roofing toolpath cutting multiple Z passes into the design. Okay, so that's the roofing toolpath. This was calculated to leave 60 thousandths of an inch on the design. We select the finishing toolpath. This is being carved with a an eighth ball nose cutter. We preview this toolpath. You'll see that it's finished machining in the last 60 thousandths and machining the job to the exact size. We can speed up the preview by cancelling the toolpath. Uh, preview operation, switch off the animation preview and we just see the finished result. So now we've carved the decorative lily into the center of our panel. Go back to the two-dimensional design view, select the outer rectangle, I'm going to profile around this using a form cutter or an OG cutter. So select a cutter, use our standard OG cutter again. This time we're going to carve 0.6 of an inch deep in a machine on the line. Calculate. Preview this toolpath. See so we've added the border again. And then finally we wish to cut the complete panel out. So we have another profile on the outside of the line using an end mill. So we'll use a quarter inch end mill. This time we're going to go all the way through, so one inch deep calculate, preview the toolpath, delete the waste material, that leaves us with the finished panel. We can estimate the machining times, so it should take about, uh, about two hours to carve this complete panel, close, save the toolpaths, select the post processor for the machine that you're running, and save the files ready for running on the CNC machine. Thank you for watching the tutorial.